Welcome back to another video, my brothers. Today's video is titled, Most People Won't Be Happy For You. Now, before I dive into the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. I appreciate your support in the last few days, guys. We are well on our way to 2,000 subscribers and I appreciate every single one of you. All right, so most people won't be happy for you. It's a hard pill you have to swallow. And I briefly touched on this in one of my last videos called, Not Everybody Is Your Friend. You know, your continued ascension, your continued progress in life, you achieving success and continuing to achieve success is gonna rub some people off the wrong way. You're gonna notice that certain people that you used to be cool with are gonna start to look at you in a different way. You know, they're gonna say things like, you've changed. What happened to the old Jack, right? And these are all shaming words. Right? They're trying to make you feel like you've become a horrible person since you've started to prioritize yourself and your progress. You might hear the word selfish being thrown around. You're not fun anymore. You're boring. All you do is work. Because the reality is most people out there have deep rooted insecurities. Your success reminds them of the things that they're not doing. Because they know deep down inside, they have things that they should be doing. And then they see you with the fucking balls. They're so big, you're carrying them in a fucking wheelbarrow. They're seeing you go out there and execute and accomplish shit and continue to collect W's. Splendacious wins. Win after win. And they're like, no, no, he can't be doing this how. And they're really upset. They're triggered. I love that word. Triggered. Right? Because they look at you and they're like, fuck. I should have started my own business last year. Look at him. And I'll tell you something, a very interesting observation that I've made. When you are still within reach, when I say within reach, let's say your mates make two grand a month. Most of your friends, let's just say. And you start making five. Obviously, you're starting to do well for yourself. And that could be selling clothes, making videos, trading, whatever it may be. The occupation doesn't matter. You're still somewhat within reach, shall I say. And so that's when you'll receive most of the criticism, when you're on the come up, when you're not yet far away, when you're not yet out of reach. You're gonna get a lot of these comments because they're trying to do whatever they can early on to destabilize you to get you off track so you can fuck up and come back and make them feel more secure about themselves and where they are. That's why these guys are all at the bottom. There's a big group of them at the bottom. Just imagine yourself climbing a mountain and they're watching you with binoculars and they're like, oh, he's halfway up, guys, all right? And then let's just say you quit. You're like, I can't do this, get me down. You come down. They're all waiting for you down at the bottom of the mountain. They're like, these fucking soy boy twignecks, as I like to call them, right? These fucking rats. They're like, see, I knew you would be able to do it. And you've given them the validation that they were so desperately looking for. Now they can feel comfortable again. Now this, what do they call them? This outlier, the man who dared to venture out. The lone wolf has now come back with his head down, his tail tucked between his legs. Now they feel good. Right? And I'm afraid, listen, some of these guys are guys that you perceive as great friends. Up until now, maybe you haven't had a reason for you to doubt them, for you to think that they could be one of those people. But maybe it's because you haven't risen yet. Maybe it's because you haven't collected win after win yet. Just, just watch. As soon as you start doing well for yourself, just watch your friendship group. Some of them are gonna be triggered by your success and a lot of them will make jokes disguised as advice. No, it's just messing, man. You know, they'll say things, especially in front of other people because they want other people to perceive you in that way too. Not just themselves, they wanna drag your name down in front of others, right? Once again, it's deep-rooted insecurity. They're not happy with where they are. And the only way that they get that validation is by 
making sure that they see you fail, making sure that other people are also on their side in wanting to see you fail. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you, man. Most men are fucking average. Now listen, there are some good guys out there that genuinely don't really care. They won't go out of their way to hate on you. There are. And more specifically, I would say people that are successful already, they tend to be quite supportive, if I'm honest with you, because they know the struggle. They've been there. They remember the days when they first started off and they also received that backlash. Maybe their friends laughed at them as well. And so they know how hard it can be, especially when people around you don't believe in what you're doing, right? So they've been there. And so when they see a young brother trying to make something of himself, they applaud you, they give you advice, they tell you to keep your head up, focus, ignore the naysayers, right? I've experienced that. I remember when I first started off, people used to have shit to say. You know, who does he think he is? Oh, he's got a BMW now. Oh, the, you know, comments, sly comments, jokes, as I said. So you've got to vet your circle and you've got to make the decision to cut some people off, ruthless. Because listen, man, if there's someone in your group that is, is waiting for you to slip up and you catch a hint, they say something disrespectful. Listen, that person does not deserve to be in your corner. That person cannot be trusted. Or you're in battle and you expect that person to want to fucking help you out. Nah. And I'm not saying that, listen, just because one of your friends started a business, I'm not saying you have to go all out and spend money and, no. But if you don't have the money to spend, at least say something good, you know? At least recommend my business to someone that you might think would benefit from it. Do you know what I mean? Like if you post on Instagram that you've started a business, maybe it's selling brownies, chocolate brownies, right? And you have a website and they deliver whatever, right? And then you just post it on your story. You know, hey guys, if you're interested, buy. You know, if not, I'd appreciate if you guys can share it, you know. Maybe three or four, let's say you get 250 views, 300 views. Three or four will reply back saying, hey man, where can I get it? And then loads of people, most of them people that you know, are just watching. That's all they're doing. Hmm. Okay. These are the same people. If, if a fucking celebrity, a famous celebrity became pregnant or there's some something controversial in the, in the news, they'll share it. And I'm talking about celebrity, by the way. I'm not talking about controversial in terms of war or anything like that. I'm talking about their favorite celebrity. You know, for your chance to win an iPhone, these guys are sharing all of their stories. But your business? Nah. Ain't that important. You know? So, just accept it, man. Most people out there are not rooting for you to win. If anything, they are rooting for you to fail. Right? There's a saying, most, like, there's a saying, don't complain. Because 80% of people don't care and 20% are glad that you have them. Right? The problems. And so, you can't be naive, wandering through life, thinking, yeah, everybody wants me to win. No. And this also applies to relationships as well. You get into a relationship with a beautiful woman. She's caring for you. You know, she's a great girl. And you go out there talking to your friends about it. Be careful. My personal rule is this. I never talk about how much I'm making. And I never talk about my relationship. Those two things, private to me. Because it's a very fragile thing. If someone fucks with your money, that affects your lifestyle. If someone fucks with your relationship, it's not a good it's not a good thing. Absolutely not. Those two things I cherish and I keep quiet. Not because I'm afraid, but because I just want to protect it. Right? People don't need to know. Obviously, if you're creating a brand and stuff, people are gonna see online. Oh yeah, wow, okay. This guy's making videos. But remember, not everybody's gonna be applauding. Most if they check up on you, they're checking up on you to see if you failed. Has he failed yet? Oh no, he's still going. Fucking consistent bastard. And then eventually, going back to my point earlier about my observation, if you're within reach, that's when you get the most hate. The moment you just, you take off and you become a major success. A major success could be a million subscribers. It could be you're on national TV, everybody knows you, it could be whatever, right? When you get to a point where you're at such a high level, 
they have no fucking choice but to applaud you. The people that hate on you will, will tell other people that they know you. Oh, there's, there's this, he went to my school, this guy. Yeah, he went to my, we, yeah, we used to be in the same class. You know, we used to be good friends. And you might have not been friends. They'll brag to others about how they know you. Because in their head, they're like, oh, power by association. I want to be connected to his name now. And you know, it, it's why people love male celebrities so much, like athletes, like Michael Jordan, MJ, right? People would say, oh, that's just Michael Jordan. He's just so great. Oh, Ronaldo scored a hat-trick? Oh, that's Ronaldo, though. He's so far ahead. And, and I personally believe that very successful men don't tend to have many genuine haters. Hear me out on this. Of course, there's going to be people that say, oh, the rich get richer and they complain about the rich. But if you're genuinely very fucking successful as a man, other men have no choice but to subconsciously, even if they don't say it, subconsciously they respect you. They're like, wow, this man has hit the pinnacle, right, of his career. He's at the very highest level. Fair enough, I respect him now. And now if you say some shit, other people are going to look at you and be like, motherfucker, that's Ronaldo. Why are you hating? You almost look delusional for hating. But early on, when you're on the come up and people are hating on you, that's when you feel like you have the right to hate. Who does he think he is? Wait, he wants to start a business. He wants to coach people. He's scamming. Look at him. Are you guys not seeing what I'm seeing? And they'll say shit to try and get other people, as I said, on, on the bandwagon of getting your name down, of putting you down. But when you become so great, oh, it's just MJ, oh, it's just Ronaldo, oh, it's, it's King James, LeBron, it's just LeBron, oh, it's just Ali, you know, he just, it's just what he does, he just keeps winning. Fair enough, I can't hate the guy. Do you see what I'm saying? So you need to keep going past that early stage of criticism and get to a level where you're so fucking great that they have no choice but to, in fact, they're gonna stand up and they're gonna give you a standing ovation, right? It's just how it's gotta be. Don't give them the privilege and the pleasure and the validation of seeing you throw the towel like a little bitch. Don't ever do that, ever. All right? So that's just my take. Most people don't wanna see you win. Bear that in mind, vet your circle, see who's around you, who's saying these sly comments, fucking, you know, trying to put you down and cut them out. Cut them out of your life, you don't need them. And they'll be watching, oh yes they will. Oh they will, trust me. They'll be coming up on your stories and stuff, you know, watching your shit here and there. They're watching. And they're gonna be praying to God that you slip up. But guess what? You ain't gonna slip up. You're gonna keep collecting splendacious wins. With that being said, thanks for watching fellas. Hit that like and subscribe down below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.